and thank you so much for being with us. The talk continues on the Morning Scramble. You are hearing Dave Manning on the keyboard. We will be speaking to him in just a second. It's Friday. Dr. David Hancock is my guest host. And I'm glad to be here. Thanks for watching, folks. We're ready for a fun show. It's yes, going to be fun. It's a little foggy this morning. Wasn't I know. It? I was driving yeah. in a cloud. That was <laughs> weird. It's like, oh, okay. <clears throat> we are coming to you, as you know, Northern Arizona, Prescott, Arizona's Christmas City, and that is, of course, just right around the corner. As we said, in the studio with us is Dave Manning, entertainer, songwriter, uh, traveler, uh, singer, uh, documentary maker, and all of the above. Dave, welcome. Thanks for talking to us and being here for us today. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Glad, glad to be here. I understand Mrs. Manning's still in bed. Smart lady. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, she, yep, she stayed in bed. She stayed in bed, yep. <laughs> Catch us up to date, Dave. What have you been doing since we last talked to you? It's been close to a year. Yeah, around that. Traveled around the bus. And uh, the exciting thing is that that movie came out, and I didn't really make it. I just, uh, they kind of followed me around for a couple days. And, mm -hmm. But uh, that, that's been really exciting. That's aired several times nationwide on the documentary channel. And I uh, get good emails all the time, and uh, you're in it for, uh, for a few seconds there. Uh, <laughs> all you know. those few seconds should have hit the cutting room floor. Well, I, I don't know. I think, I think. <laughs> so Vincent is now famous on film. How about that? Yeah, yeah, indeed. It, I've actually had a couple famous moments, like in grocery store parking lots and such, when people recognize the boss and recognize me and want to have their picture taken, that sort of thing. I would imagine Vincent's innards are all new. <laughs> His, his, his innards? His <laughs> yes, I think. Yeah, how's the tranny in this? <laughs> yeah, what year I, I, is this VW I put another large man. intestine in him. <laughs> his innards are pretty, pretty new. Yeah, he's on the fifth, fifth motor and third transmission. And there's only a few parts on that thing that I haven't changed at some point or other. At least taken off and you know refurbished a bit and put back on. It's always well. What's that's what's unique about those vehicles, and that's what that movie talks about. Is uh, they are unless they're crashed or rusted out, they're pretty much infinitely rebuildable. Mm -hmm. So they're. I've actually just met somebody a few weeks ago. It's like, oh yeah, I've got uh, a million miles on that one, and mine's got uh, about four hundred thousand miles on it now. So that, you know, oh, wow. just uh, replace what wears out. You're in the area. For what reason you're going to be appearing? Because we never catch you here unless you're appearing somewhere. Yeah, yep. That's yeah. Well, that's that's how I make my money driving around playing <laughs> music. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I just played over at the Raven Cafe last night, and uh, going to be in Sedona, uh, Moody's Irish Pub on Saturday night, and the Oak Creek Brewing Company Saturday afternoon, an afternoon show, three to six. Excellent. What are yeah. you playing for us okay. today? Well, I'm going to play a song. Actually, I wrote uh, kind of for my gal Mary. Based on an old New Orleans blues, we'll do a little short version of the song here. Seems like all the pretty girls I see these days They're holding phones up to their heads Walking around like a bunch of zombies Staring at the screens of the living dead We're raising up their baby Staring at screens instead of the world In my casual assessment The smarter the phone The dumber the girl Well my woman she's got herself a dumb phone you know, Chuck, it burns diesel, not gas. On my casual assessment, you know, my wife, she's badass. You know, I see these pretty girls down the honky tonks. She liked in their makeup and their rouge. None of them know how to do anything useful. Hardly sense what I'm guessing. Well, my woman, she's got herself a chainsaw. She's also got a license to use it. But I don't worry none. I give her my trust. She ain't the kind ever gonna abuse it. 
talk to these uptown girls But all they want to talk about is what's on TV They say, did you see episode 6 of season 13? I say, ma'am, I don't even own a TV Well, what do I do? I like to sit and maybe watch the fire Sometimes even holding down a conversation About just how frightening it is Chicks like you raising of the next generation In the evening my woman she cooks slow High entertainment don't come in by a wire Sometimes she spanks me with a spatula and we slow dance by the fire Well, in my final assessment Oh, my wife She's bad ass <laughs> oh, yes. My you. apologies about the, the reference there Dave, thank you so much <laughs> yeah. uh, we will hear you when next? Uh, well, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, down at Mooney's Irish Pub in Sonoma, Excellent. Oak Creek Brewing Company, Sunday afternoon. Excellent. Thanks, awesome. Dave. Have yes, fun yeah. with that, Dave. Thank yes. you. When we come back, we're going to be talking about Murder, She Baked, Yavapai Humane Society, and Dog Park right here in town wins mega bucks in a contest. That yeah. will be the topics when cool. we come back.